Our next presenter came in second place in his fifth grade 100 yard dash and still holds a grudge. Please welcome Sean from Prome. I don't even remember that. Where'd you get that from? All right, hi guys. My name's Sean Everett. I'm the CEO of Prome. Uh, we've built biologic intelligence, and we believe that's the next step in artificial intelligence. So actually, I have a question for you guys today. How many of you invested here in artificial intelligence, some form or another? Capital deployed, maybe resources, done some learning on your own? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have to guess that a lot of you probably have, but there's a problem with this, and that a lot of you are using the same approaches, using the same open source tool sets, using the same sort of machine learning, mathematics-based approaches. And so what that means is that everybody's sort of not getting too far ahead of one another. We're all sort of at the same kind of fundamental limit. It's one of the reasons why a lot of the AI startups you talk to can't answer the question, how are you different? That hasn't been our problem at all. In fact, I sent our pitch deck a couple months ago to one of the world's most active AI investors. And he responded immediately with, that's cockamamie bullshit. I was like, OK, well. Uh, I guess I get it, because what we've essentially done is we've emulated the brain and nervous system of animals into software and robotics. Neuroscientists get this. It's called a connectome. Connect with OME on the end of it. If you Google this term, you'll start to see it. Why is this important? I'll give you an example. Two days ago, I got a cold reach out from a Harvard neuroscientist. And he works, wouldn't you know it, for the Children's Hospital in Boston. And he's trying to predict seizures in children to save lives. And what he told me, word for word, was that the current approaches to AI aren't working. Kids are dying. And that's why he reached out to us, because we go beyond the limits of, of AI. But now you're saying to yourself, well, this is an IoT and mobility expo here. Why are you talking to me about healthcare? And this is the part where I want you to lean in a little bit and just take a second here. Our software is exactly the same in healthcare, predicting seizures as it is in IoT, predicting equipment failure in a single factory across multiple factories, as it is in avoiding obstacles for black swan and chaotic events in self-driving cars. The software that beat AlphaGo, right? You couldn't put that in a self-driving car and expect it to work. It's just untenable. You have to hire different data scientists. You need to sensorize a different car in a different way. You need to run the same well-lit path many, many times. And it's just not going to work, right? So you need some kind of self-learning artificial intelligence to adapt to situations as they're presented in real time at the edge. That's what biologic intelligence is. Of course, we're talking to tier one companies all over the world, including smart cities, algorithmic trading firms, industrial IoT platforms, and even self-driving car tier one auto manufacturers. But you know, those problems don't really matter to you, right? Because you have your own problems. So we have a booth out back here. My email address is right up here on the stage. And I'd really like five minutes. Just spend some time with me. Let's talk about your problems. Our AI, we don't need to hire a bunch of different data scientists, build a bunch of different deep learning models. We don't need to spend all the time cleaning and scrubbing data. The software does that itself. My name's Sean. We invented biologic intelligence. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.